What's up everybody, I'm Jason and welcome to a short video looking at some basic to intermediate configuration and usage tips for the Canon EOS R5 camera. In this video, I'm going to be looking at changing the AF method. This is, I usually would call this the AF area. This is basically how big of a point on the screen or how big of a point in the sensor of the sensor, how much area of the sensor or image is covered by the AF point. And it has some other side effects in terms of what the autofocus system is doing and looking for. So we'll start off by looking at the default for this process, which is to hit the uh, autofocus point select button and then use the MFN button on the front of the camera to step through the autofocus modes or AF methods from left to right across the bottom of the screen in the order of uh, face detection plus tracking. Uh, this is the full area of the camera sensor. Spot AF or spot one point expanded using top, bottom, and left, right. So it's the plus looking configuration. Expanded using a, a, a larger box. So it's using all of the surrounding or it's essentially making your box larger. Zone, large zone vertical and large zone horizontal. Um, now, the zone AF methods are somewhat akin to the face detection plus tracking mode in that they use many of the similar uh, processing and algorithms to automatically detect what it should focus or what the camera should focus on. However, they limit the area on the sensor that the camera is looking to, in the case of zone, a, a box in the middle of the sensor or a box that you can position around the sensor. And in the case of the two large zones, a band either going completely from top to bottom or completely from side to side covering the sensor, but in a more confined and specific area than just using the whole sensor area. There's also an alternative method or mechanism for doing this to the, or, or that's available on the camera by default. And that is from the, you know, shooting thing, press the Q button, which enters the quick control menu, and then select the top leftmost uh, menu item, which was AF method, and then use uh, main dial to switch which button or which AF area or which AF method, I'm so used to calling it area, which AF method that you're going to use. Now, as I do with these videos, pros and cons, obviously a pro here is that it's harder to accidentally change the AF method. The con is that it's obviously somewhat slower to change the AF method. Also, by the way, when you're in the Q menu, you can just touch the method you want in on the screen if you're shooting with the rear LCD. There is a modification that can be easily activated or made to the default method that makes it somewhat faster. So again, jumping back to the camera, if we jump into the menus and we switch to the AF4 menu and we go all the way down to the second option from the bottom, AF method selection control, we can change this to uh, main dial from MFN button. Now, when we enter the AF point selection mode, scrolling the main button or the main dial moves the autofocus or changes the AF method instead of moving the autofocus point left to right. Obviously the pro to this is it can be somewhat faster to change AF methods because you can scroll in both directions through the menu and the dial can scroll potentially a little bit faster than clicking the MFN button a lot. However, you do have to remember that if you switch this, you will not be able to use the main dial to move the autofocus point. You will need to use either the multi-controller or touch and drag AF or something other, you know, some other methods. This typically would be the multi-controller, I think. Option number three is to make the AF method change available through directly pressing the AF point select button. This is how I have my camera set up and essentially it disables that AF point selection menu and simply makes the button change the AF method. 
Now, obviously, if you do this, you need to make sure that your multi-controller is set to always move your autofocus point, or you have touch and drag AF available or enabled, or have another mechanism for controlling where the autofocus point is other than going into the autofocus point selection menu and relying on the multi-controller or dials in there. To set this up, we will jump into the Customize Buttons menu on the Custom Functions 3 menu page, and we will go down to the AF Point Button menu entry, and we will change this from AF Point Selection to Direct AF Method Selection. And with that set, I can simply push the AF Point Selection button, and it will rotate through the available AF methods. Now, obviously, pros for this, I don't have to go into a special mode or menu to change the autofocus point, so it is slightly faster. Cons, it can obviously be easier to accidentally bump the AF point selection button and change your AF method. Another option, and there's a lot of options here, is to use the control ring on an RF lens or the control ring EOS to EFR lens adapter, mount adapter. So to set this up, we go back into the Custom Function 3 menu. This time we go to Customize Dials. We go to the Control Ring, and we can change this to Autofocus Method. There are, there are two options for the Autofocus Method in the Control Ring dial. One is with the Hold Metering button option, and one is without. If you have this set to the option with hold the hold metering button, you can only change the autofocus method while you're holding either the autofocus on or the shutter release half pressed or otherwise have the camera metering. The other option, the one that does not have the hold metering button, uh, switching to the, or selecting that will make the ring always change the autofocus method. And then to use this, simply turn the control ring on the front of the lens or on the mount adapter with the control ring, and it will change autofocus methods, the scrolling through the methods, depending on which way you go. Pros and cons. I have no idea what the pros to this are. I guess if you have nothing better to do with the auto uh, or the quick or the control ring on the lens on the RF lenses, it might be useful. I've never actually shot with this configuration. It just didn't doesn't seem like the best option out there. Which essentially is the con that I think the control ring is probably better used for something like exposure compensation, especially if you're using a ungripped camera where it can be a little bit awkward or difficult to get to the main or the quick control dial. There is a fourth method that you can do, which is to have the autofocus method selection available through the dial functions option of the MFN button. So to set this up, we will jump back to the customize buttons menu on custom the custom function three menu page. And we will scroll down to the MFN button and we will have that set to dial function and then we will hit info to go to detail set and then we can select af method to add to the options that are available in the dial function or, or the mfn button dial function so this is the the button mode where you hit the mfn button and then you can scroll through uh, up to five different settings to change uh, you know, basically in replace of the buttons on the top of previous Canon DSLRs. So there's a lot of options there. If you want to play with them, you know, by all means, it is, uh, there's definitely room for customization and finding the right selection for you. Uh, if you found this useful or interesting, please consider smashing that like button. Please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.